Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? It's good, good. How you get all the way out here? You have I don't see where is your horse. Oh. <laughs> you walk from where? I walk from the station, train oh, rail station. Oh, it's a little bit walk, but it's good for you. It gets <laughs> the, the heart rate going. It's <laughs> so nice and strong. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> so this is another homestead um, there are quite a few buildings so I'm going to explore see it's it's it looks like a barn oh yeah oh this is stable uh, horse wow it smell So going inside the house, it seems like it's kind of like a stepwise richer houses because first one I saw it's a mud house, the next one was one building was mud house, but the other buildings were nice. Uh, so now I'm going to see here. Hello. Hi, Hello. how are you? Good, how good. How's your day going? Oh, very well. How's yours going? Good, good, good. good, good. <laughs> I'm afraid you are a bit out of luck. My husband, he just left for field again to so uh -huh. uh, get some work, work done, and I am out of food. <laughs> <laughs> I make some borscht today, and it turned out very nice. So, what is borscht? Borsh, oh, well, it is soup uh, that you make with the beet and all um, vegetables. And beet everyone has different recipe, you know, for making the borsh. Uh -huh. What I like to do is I like to fry a little bit the bacon, onion, and uh, make nice soup base. And uh -huh. then put in your beets and vegetables, kapusta, everything, making this nice soup. <laughs> Good comfort food on okay. a cold day. Uh -huh. Or for hot day, whichever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, and today I make some biscuits. So, so it seems like oh yeah, yeah. So, so you are making some oh, biscuits. Yes, you already I made that. Uh? Lots of food today. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so you are busy all busy, day. Busy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to ask question about? No, house? yes. Like so, it seems like this house is a bit rich house. Like 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 a rich person. Uh, uh, well, not rich. <laughs> <laughs> or or or. Uh, quite a bit of a step up from the first house I saw. Yes, yes. Well, uh, here my my husband and I, my Micholo Vic and I, we are doing very well. Uh, we have been living here, let's see, we built house 1915. So we have been living here three years now uh -huh. and uh, doing very well. You know, we're having lots of animals and lots and lots of land to farm. So um, all doing very nicely here in Canada. Mm -hmm. And my husband, he built this nice house for me. Um, he said, honey, what do you want in your house? <laughs> I said, I want green, I want white. Oh, wow, like white. these are these are better doors than any other houses I saw. Oh, yes, yes. it's very nice house. He, he uh, cut down the trees uh -huh. and he making the box of uh -huh. the house. And then we putting in the middle um, all this straw and mud to keep out the cold, you know? And did you have to buy like using mortgage because I saw a lumber yard and lumber store there. Mortgage? Yeah. Uh, no, um, he is paying for, you know, as much as we can get. We are um, using our own building materials, uh -huh. like the trees that we cut down. Oh, from okay. the uh -huh. And then we are stacking on top of I each see. other. And then things like a door or shingles we are buying from the, from the store. Company. Okay. Oh. Yeah, but as we can afford it. Mm -hmm. you know? Uh, so he have to work for a while. Actually, uh, my Andri he worked for five years um, on the railway, and he also worked for a year in the mines. Mm -hmm. He tell me awful stories. He don't like working like this. But <laughs> then uh, he get his property, and we start to farm together. As as the war, like you're saying that uh, three years uh, here and uh, two thousand uh, sorry nineteen eighteen, and the war is looming, right? 
or did you have um, the war impacted like the second world war Oh, well, I'm not sure yet uh, huh. if we have war, uh, what we have been facing the past while, uh, what's uh, on everyone's minds is Spanish flu. Going oh, around. yes, yes. Spanish uh, flu. Some people are uh, putting their mask on your face mm -hmm. and uh, putting little bits of garlic in mask to keep away uh, the sickness. Sickness, uh -huh. And some people hanging around their neck, a uh, big garlic uh -huh. uh, necklace. Uh -huh. And uh, what I like to do because I think a little differently is I like to put garlic chestnut in uh, most everything I'm cooking. <laughs> oh, okay. But this yeah. is habit from before. So my husband and I, uh, as of yet, we have not uh, gotten it. That's that's great to yes. hear. Now the the bed is made of like uh, like uh, like iron, eh? Huh? Oh yes, this one we buy from the from the Eaton's catalog. Yes. Oh, Eaton's catalog. Yes, we get bed frame from uh -huh, the I see. And then we make the mattress ourselves yeah. and uh, have a blanket. So uh, what do you use inside the mattress? Is it the hay or something else? Straw. Mostly straw, straw right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Makes right. nice mattress. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then I came with baby care. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Know, I remember I'm that. I'm hoping that my husband will take hint that I want another baby. I see. Uh, because my little Vasil, he's getting uh, older now. He's two years old, getting mm -hmm. a little spoiled. You know, he needs a brother or sister. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, in in winter, like like you have heating like the stove heat, right? So yes. does the stove warm up the whole house or is it you have a portable kind of like coal or something you put uh, it in different rooms well usually we are using stove for heat mm -hmm. um, so in the winter we are not using Valikahata, my big room over here mm -hmm. very much uh, only for when the guests come over because uh, you have to open doors keep oh. stove running all the time make sure you're closing doors uh -huh. outside very um, big chore yeah. to heat all of the house and it's an even more so in winter fun. mostly like you um, stay near the kitchen and the bedroom that. and yeah. yes we usually use mm -hmm. just malaka hatha in the winter when uh, everything okay. is so cold you know why do you not mm -hmm. tell me that it's so cold here in Canada <laughs> <laughs> I, I, before I come maybe I don't come yeah. no, really I'm like, uh, good with putting up with ma ma many Ukrainian came from Germany uh, or from from Ukraine directly. Uh, yeah. Well, where I come from is called Galicia, and uh, there is next to it Bukovina. Maybe someday in future it will be called Ukraine. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, so at that time it was not called Ukraine. No, no, we call oh. it Bukovina, Galicia, but many Galicia, I, 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 I remember are Polish just, yeah. and German, Jewish. <laughs> So it was like the Austro-Hungarian Empire at the time. Yes, yes, everything all lumped into one area: Moldova, Slovakia, uh -huh. Ukraine. I think maybe it will be called. Uh, <laughs> you know, Hope all so. these different parts under Austro-Hungarian mm -hmm. Empire. Yes. I see. Yes. So okay. we are all living uh, very close quarters where I come from. Mm -hmm. um, people having not very much land. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is biggest reason why a lot of uh, us from Bukovina, Galicia, we come here because mm -hmm. we Buku want to have land Galicia. to have good life and mm -hmm. be able to, um, you know, uh, make a life for ourselves, make some money, uh, you know, not be starving uh, back home where we come from. You know, so many people mm -hmm. are uh, starving because they only have enough for a little garden and uh, for a little bit of crops for themselves. Uh, not, not very much um, mm -hmm. extra for your family, you know. Yeah, so uh, here we in Canada, we are very, very thankful for yeah, large parts of land. Better life and like, yeah, yeah, that's great. Yes, you can imagine. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to see your pantry. Yes, uh, my scene <laughs> and my pantry. <laughs> very, very nice. Uh, I, I remember here. some of these things uh, growing up uh, as a child. Oh, God, for to make the kubasa. <laughs> like ground <laughs> beef. Meat. Or even we used to make like uh, similar to noodles. Oh, but, yeah, like good. like, But it was sweet. Uh, we called shimai. Oh, very nice. <laughs> I never make the sweet noodles. I just made some nice noodles over here. Because wow. we have lots of eggs, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I have to try sweet noodles. <laughs> Usually I'm putting the chest meat yeah. and pepper. And this is the room for the uh, like when people come yes, to visit. Yes, for the visitors. No? I see. Yes. 
Wow. And lots of uh, work to heat this room, uh, yeah. so I don't use it very much. Just for yeah, it makes when sense. people come over, you can oh. have a nice bed. And you don't use to make nice bed, huh? Yes, yes <laughs> but in the winter, well, <laughs> you have to use a lot of wood to heat this room if you have visitors to okay. be here. That's and they cool. might still be cold. <laughs> <laughs> so the kitchen would be where? Oh, the well, kitchen is in Malika Khata. Oh, uh, oh, so kitchen yes. is... Oh, there. Okay. Yes, my Malika. Oh, here. Okay. Yeah. So that would hit this room as well. Dark, ah. yes. We have this small little room. Mm -hmm. You close door. You have ceiling uh, down so, close to your mm -hmm. head. Very nice and warm. So, like, these things, like, like, is there a different function or is it like... Uh, well, this uh, my stove is from Ethan's catalog. This is uh -huh. a matchless model. Uh, my husband and I it looks buy so it for beautiful, about forty dollars. Yeah? Pretty expensive, I yes. know, but a good investment. You know, you put the wood in here. Oh, uh, oh, so pencil. that's the wood. You model, yes. Yeah. I uh, will start. You know, you put uh -huh. your kindling, your wood in here. Burns very nicely, and then you will know when your stove is hot enough or when your oven is hot enough. It will be usually on the okay. middle here. Uh -huh. Yes, have a nice uh, thing for to tell the temperature, and then you can have your ashes falling. Oh, down. that is the ash tray. Yes, okay, yes. okay. And then you have all these nice burners on the top. You have place to put your tea, mm -hmm. and you don't want to, uh, you know, uh, you want to keep it up out of the way. You have a nice water reservoir here for when... Oh, that is water reservoir. Yes, okay. for bath days and uh -huh. keeping nice warm water. And then you have in here a nice warmer when the Cholovic is late for his lunch. I you can see. keep everything up here to uh -huh. keep nice and warm for him. Wow, that was so, like, scientifically done, like, so smart. Yes. Everything in, in one place. Oh, oh very nice. <laughs> yes, I'm loving this. Before, what we have is we have a nice pitch where we have clay oven. Uh, we build here and it's all clay, just like mm -hmm. a house. Yeah. And then you just buy cooktop, uh, the iron uh -huh. cooktop, put on top and you have nice uh, stove. And this is what we use for uh -huh. a long time. Smoke is going out uh -huh. here. Yeah. But then husband, he is so nice to me <laughs> and he buys me nice one from And England. it costs 40 <laughs> dollar that's a lot of money a lot like of money. i i heard that uh, some people like labor mostly earn 50 cents an hour at the time oh yes depending on what you're doing uh -huh. you know um, a housekeeper in town for example can earn dollar a day uh -huh. uh, this is very good wage um someone who so what who would be the richest kind of employ uh, like trade or the professions like i heard that oh. lumber the person who run the lumber uh, store oh that he makes a very good yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, if you having a job with very high responsibility then you're having a nice um wage uh, for example at train station I train know, station station yeah. master he gets a dollar 25 uh, sorry um five dollars 25 cents for a day and this is a very high wage, mm -hmm. but he is on call all the time for ah, trade. Okay, yes. okay. Farmer, a little more um, unpredictable, you know, because you are uh, depending all on yourself. You're mm -hmm. uh, here in Canada, you're your own master, which is very nice, mm -hmm. but you also uh, have master, which is the weather. The na the and nature and God and yeah, weather, and, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. so you have to uh, really work hard to get your wage when the sun is shining. Uh -huh. In fact, we have exercise when we are in summer. We plant the fields, and then in summer we are kneeling a lot <laughs> to pray for a good yield from the, yes, uh, the yes. crops and the, from the garden because you need to save lots and be able to sell. Mm -hmm. well. I also learned that there are quite a few churches, and then one of which which one is the oldest one? Oldest, oh, oldest sure. here in this area. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, uh, oldest one I think would be a uh, Russia church just down. There. That's the that's the one with the bell outside. Tak. Where where is that? Where Which is way? It? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's down the road. Oh, so in this way. Yes. You okay. keep going down this road, you will come to it. Okay, I'll I'll certainly visit that. That. All right. So okay, you have a. So, like you have so much understanding, knowledge and everything. Oh. I really appreciate it talking to you. Yeah, cool. I hope <laughs> that you have a very nice okay. time. Thank you so much. <laughs> have a good day. So, bye -bye. Okay, bye. 
So I was talking to the wonderful lady of the house. She mentioned that husband moved here and they have been here for three years and they're making good money. Their house looks like much more uh, like beautiful and also uh, like with shingles and walls and everything. Oh, the the brother is coming. Okay. And they also have a, a nice coop for the kitchen. Uh, for the, yeah, for the chicken. Okay, I'll head to the church, the oldest one.